Hello, my name is Andy Hall and I am a certified CamWorks support engineer here at Go Engineer. In this quick tip, we are going to show some of the options available to us in containing our tool path. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and define our stock. And right here in the SolidWorks feature tree, I have a sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and select my sketch to define my stock by. And I'm going to have that up to a face in my CamWorks or my SolidWorks model. So I'll select that face and that'll define my stock. Also, I'll go ahead and hit OK. And now I can go ahead and define my mill part setup or my machining direction. I'll just select this top face and I'm going to go and uh, insert my multi surface feature. As in the previous video, we select all and associate. Now for the strategy, I'm going to just select this preset course strategy. We're going to go in the in the operations tab and insert and uh, change a bunch of things. Just but for now, I'm just going to select this just so it'll generate a a roughing or an area clearance tool path. I'll go and hit insert, and I'll generate my operation plan. And we'll see it defaults to a one inch flat end mill. I'm going to go ahead and edit that and pick in, I think uh, we'll just go with a half inch end mill for now. And some of the options we're going to play around here with is, let's see, actually I'm going to select a quarter inch just for some of the options I'm going to select here. So. Let's see our patterns pocket out. That's okay. We'll go ahead and hit okay. I'll generate my tool path and we'll see what that does just initially. So you'll see it's going all the way out to the outer edge, extents of the stock, moving in and then getting everything. So what I'm going to do is uh, change some of the parameters just to show you how I can contain it. Uh, the first thing we can do is on the advanced tab, we have this automatic contain area and I can select my outer silhouette and well, let's just see, yeah, on center. And just to get it looking a little bit better, I'm going to change my Z depth because we got a 120, uh, 250 cutter. I'm going to just make it go half that distance in, in Z. When this generates, we'll see what that does. It just leave, it should just leave some be cutting up here. So, so in essence, one way we can cut this is is or contain it is just by using a contain area defined by the outer extents of our part, the silhouette essentially. There's a few other options like let's say we just want to contain everything right into these pockets. I can right click and go insert contain area. We get this curve selection geometry wizard which allows us to select actual geometry on the part. I'm going to go ahead and do the selection filters convert to loop, select this to multiple and uh, select a couple of edges so, so it'll contain it within these two selected edges. And for my tool condition, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it on center, meaning the center of the tool will end on that on that edge. And hit finish, it'll prompt me to rebuild. So I'll go ahead and let it rebuild. And uh, there we go, we got a contained tool path right in those, right in those uh, areas. A couple more things. I'm going to go ahead and insert a new operation, which can always be done right here, being on this tab, the CamWorks operation tree. We can right click pretty much anywhere and always insert a new uh, operation. So I'm going to insert a three axis operation. This one's called a Z level. And this one uh, is essentially just going down in Z. It'll just find all the walls with any sort of vertical slope and assign a tool path for it. And uh, the default tool is going to be a 3 8 so I'm going to, I want to select a barrel nose that's just a quarter inch. So I'll select that from my, my tool crib and uh, just set some of the parameters here just to show what's going to happen. I'll hit OK. And when I generate, it'll find every single vertical wall and try to do a tool path. Let's say if we just only want to do the outside for this example, I can also right click on the tool, right click on the operation and insert in an avoid area. I'll just select this face for now 
and select on center as my tool condition. So we'll make sure we get the whole slope. What that'll do is uh, when it generates, it'll just contain the the tool path. So it's just the outside perimeter that it's going to cut, and it's not going to cut any of this inside geom geometry. So now you can see what it what it did there. The next thing we're going to show is how to use some of the height restrictions of like you can contain a tool path on in, like a Z level. So to do that, I'm going to insert another Z level. Um, Strat Toolpath, and I can do that by right-clicking here, going to Insert 3-Axis Mill Operation, select Z-Level, select here, and if I use this copy from, deselecting this, use default parameters, copy from Z-Level, it'll actually copy the previous one. That's a, that's a nice way to know how to do it, and it's important to know that you can do it that way. But the way I like to do it that's quick and easy is just a control, drag, and drop. It just does a straight-up copy. So all the all the parameters we entered in from the Z level previous one are now copied into this one. All we do is select new tools for our for what we're trying to do right now. This example, I'm just going to select a flat a tapered tool. You notice it has a 10 degree, which is the, the same uh, the same draft as what's on this middle boss um, for our. Uh, now to limit it to where it's just going to cut this boss, if you notice my part, you will have to zoom out a little bit here, and you notice it's just the part is, that's the only part that's sticking up. So we can take advantage of this limits here and do our first cut from a user divine depth. I can just select any edge or vertex, and the last cut will be also a user defined using any vertex, or edge, or center. Now what that'll do is it'll just contain everything in between there. Now one thing that you notice it won't generate at this point, and that's because when we copy the tool path, it also copied that avoid area. So if I just delete that, now it'll let me uh, generate tool path. There you go. Now we have that tool path. Now the next thing we're going to do is another feature I like, and I've really played around with it a lot lately. Is, you, is another three axis mill operation type, and this one's called flat area. What this does is it'll take a flat end mill and just cut any flat area that's perpendicular to your machining direction. So when I select here, I hit insert. This defaults to a 250, which is fine for what I'm showing here. Go ahead and hit OK and generate my tool path. And what we get as a result is uh, a tool path that's just cutting right at that level of the uh, so it's going to do a finish cut for any flat area. This has been a quick tip for Camworks. Please stay tuned for more quick tips.